Hi everybody, this is the fourth video in a series of what's turning out to be many, many videos over asynchronous counters. In this particular video, I'm going to be talking about small scale integration, which means we're going to be wiring individual flip flops. And we're going to be using up counters in this particular video. In the next one, I'll do down counters. In this video, I want to explain the concept of a modulus counter. So we got to start off with a quick vocab lesson here. First of all, understand that the number of flip-flops that we had determines how high we can actually count. If we have one flip-flop, we can only count zero or one. If we have two flip-flops, we can count all the way up to three. Three flip-flops, we can count all the way up to seven. Four flip-flops, we can count all the way up to 15, which would be represented by the letter F in the hexadecimal um, display. So we have two states, four states, because remember zero is one of those. Uh, eight states or 16 states for those different numbers of flip-flops. In general, the number of states that we can count or we can uh, display by using flip-flops and counters is limited to two raised to the power of the number of flip-flops. So four flip-flops would be two to the fourth, which is 16 different displays that we can have. So keep that in mind. That's what states means. Now, modulus means if we want to only use a certain number of those states. So for example, instead of counting all the way up to 15, maybe I only want to count up to 11, okay? If I, if I wanted to only use those states, this is where we start to use the word modulus. So a counter that counts from zero to 11 would require four flip-flops in order to go that high because three flip-flops and only get up, up to the number seven, okay? Out of those um, 16 states that you would have available for four flip-flops, you would want to use 12 of them. One through 11, obviously, and then zero would be the 12th state. So of those 12 states, then we would call that a mod 12 counter, okay? That's just vocab. One other thing before I show you a circuit, we need to refresh our memory about NAND gates, okay? Because NAND gates are gonna play an integral role in how we build these mod modified modulus counters. Quick refresher. NAND gates will put out a 1, as you can see by the truth table down here, almost all the time. The only time that I would ever get a 0 out of a NAND gate is whenever I have all conditions going into the NAND gate being met. So if I have three conditions that need to be met, then that's kind of like a passcode. Okay? If I hit a certain number on the counter, in other words, if I see a certain number appear in binary, I can cause that then to be the condition that I'm looking for. And when that happens, I can output a zero out of this NAND gate. Where I tie these wires to is going to be extremely important because we are using active low inputs for preset and clear. And so if I tie into a preset from this NAND gate right here, if I take this and take it to a flip-flop and I tie it to that flip-flop's preset, it will reset that circuit to a one, that flip-flop to a one, whenever the conditions are met. Likewise, if I take this and I take it and ground it into a, a zero, if I take it into clear, excuse me, then it'll put a, a zero in that digits placeholder whenever the circuit resets. So in other words, we're gonna, we're gonna take NAND gates, we're gonna point them to the left, the things that are coming in from the right-hand side are the conditions we're looking for that will reset the circuit, that's our passcode. And the thing that comes out of the NAND gate, we will tie it to each flip-flop individually, and it'll either go to preset or it'll go to clear. Okay? Now, you want to pause and probably write that down because the rest of this is going to be demonstration with multisim. So here I have a circuit, really basic. It's three flip-flops. And when I run the flip-flops, I can count all the way up to the number seven. It's an up counter. Whenever it gets to seven, by default, it rolls back over to zero because zero is just the next thing that happens in my pattern of blinking up here, okay? They're all following their own individual pattern of blinking and one, 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 it happens to be followed by zero, zero, zero. That's just the way it works, okay? But what if I only wanted to count up to the number five? What I can do is I can add in NAND gates, as you see here, okay? A single NAND gate will take the, the, the job here of looking for a particular set of conditions and then doing something as a result. I've put a little probe here just so you can see that the NAND gate is in the output a one most of the time. There we go, a one most of the time. But every once in a while, just notice, you'll see it blip. Watch, Let's see if we can see it hit here. Ah, oh, see that blip, right? It just blips on and off for just a split second, okay? So what's happening is this. 
I'm looking for a particular set of conditions. And the conditions that I'm looking for, if I look closely, I'm going to follow this back. This is tied into Q0. Okay. Now, I, got, I guess I need to understand first, this is the ones stop, spot. This is the twos spot. And this is the fours spot. So one, two, and four. I can see that the number one is lit up right now, which is why the number one is here. I can see that the number three is, is on the display because one plus two is three, right? So if I follow this back then, let's go look at this. I'm looking for a Q naught, which is a zero in the one spot. The green wire here is connected to Q. I'm looking for a one in the two spot. And this is connected to Q. So I'm looking for a one in the four spot. I'm looking for the number four plus two plus nothing from this one. I'm looking for the number six. The number six is the gener is the code that I'm looking to meet. When the number six appears, we will see something interesting happen. Watch the circuit. Four, five. Wait, where's the six? Now, if you look closely, you'll see it appear for just like a nanosecond, and then it disappears. Okay, what's happening is this. When the six is being met, when that condition is being met, this thing thinks it's supposed to display a six. But what's happening instead is this is blipping out a zero. Because this is a zero, we notice that this is tied into clear, clear, clear. And remember, those are asynchronous inputs, which means that they can override the clock. We do not have to wait for the clock, they happen instantly. So when this zero hits, this gets cleared out to a zero, this gets cleared out to a zero, and this gets cleared out to a zero. I have the number zero, zero, zero in binary, which is just the number zero. Now notice presets are still tied to five volts. I can't just leave those hanging. I have to say I don't want to use you. But what's happening then is this. Instead of showing the six, the six becomes a reset, and it resets in this case to zero. Now, it's really easy to modify this. Let's say I want to count up instead of zero all the way up to five, which is what I'm doing here. In other words, by the way, just to recap, if I wanted to have this five as the last number that I count up to whenever you do this, I have to code it for a six, one beyond, right? Five will be the last number appears because my code down here is six. If I want to modify this in accounting, instead of counting from zero up to five, maybe I wanted to do one up to five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. If I wanted that to be the case, all I have to do is simply go like this. See this wire here? Delete it. See this wire here? Delete it. And instead of counting, this is the one spot, okay? Instead of resetting to the number zero, 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 I'm going to reset to the number one in the one spot. 0, 0, okay, so 1 in the 1 spot, and then I have to do something with this, I can't just leave it hanging, so I'm going to take this and take it to 5 volts instead, so I just switch the rule, look what happens, 3, 4, 5, blips back now to 1, so hopefully that makes sense, I can change the wires over here, tie into Q or Q naught, depending on whether I want 1s or zeros. And I can tie out to presets or clears, depending on whether I want ones or zeros, in that binary placeholder for the ones, twos, or fours digits. And that's how you create a mod up counter using small scale integration.